Hello, I'm Yogesh Patrai. I'm a postdoctoral fellow in Dr. Purna Kashyap's lab in the Department of Gastroenterology and Hepatology at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm the first author of the study titled Human-Derived Gut Microbiota Modulates Colonic Secretion in Mice by Regulating Serotonin Receptor 3 Expression via estate production. Today, on behalf of my co-authors, I'm excited to share with you key findings from our study. The human gastrointestinal tract is home to trillions of microbes collectively referred to as the gut microbiota. Recently published studies from our lab and others have shown that gut microbiota plays an important role in modulating host serotonin biosynthesis via short-chain fatty acid production. Serotonin is an important neurotransmitter in the gastrointestinal tract that plays a crucial role in regulating intestinal secretion. Therefore, in this study, we decided to investigate the impact of human-derived gut microbiota colonization on serotonin-evoked secretory response and serotonin receptor expression. We used germ-free and humanized mice for this study. We dissected mucosa and submucosa per person from these mice and mounted them in an oocin cassette. We then placed the oocin cassette in an oocin chamber. We applied voltage clamp using voltage electrodes and measured corresponding change in short circuit current. We applied increasing concentration of serotonin. Upon application of increasing concentration of serotonin, we see an increase in short circuit current as seen in the picture. We found that serotonin caused increased short circuit current in germ-free mice than humanized mice. This effect was significantly blocked by ondansetron, a 5-ST3 receptor antagonist, in germ-free but not in the humanized mice. Furthermore, we observed an increase in 5-ST3 receptor mRNA and protein expression in germ-free mice, suggesting that gut microbiota modulates colonic secretion via 5-ST3 receptor expression. Since 5-ST3 receptors are found both in the mucosa and in the submucosal neurons, we blocked neuronal contribution by applying TTX. We found that serotonin-dependent secretory response was significantly higher in germ-free mice than humanized mice, but this difference was lost after ondansetron co-application. This suggests that microbiota likely affects epithelial 5-ST3 receptor expression to modulate colonic secretion. Finally, we wanted to determine what microbial mediators might affect epithelial 5-SD3 receptor expression. We therefore made germ-free colonoids. We treated germ-free colonoids with different sorts and fatty acids. We found that incubation of epithelial colonoids, particularly with 10 millimolar so sodium acetate, significantly decreased 5-SD3 receptor expression compared to untreated controls. This suggests that microbiota production of acetate likely causes decreased epithelial 5-SD3 receptor expression observed in humanized mice. In conclusion, we found that the human gut microbiota via estate production decreases epithelial 5-SD3 receptor expression and contribute to lower serotonin-dependent colonic secretion in mice. We believe that the results from this study will be helpful in the future to develop novel microbial therapeutics in order to treat patients with secretory defects. I thank you for your time.